Hello, welcome to the assembly instructions for this rotary attachment. First, we're going to go over the parts that are included in the kit. That should help uh, make assembly a little bit uh, easier for you. So, in part one, we're going to install the front base plate assembly. In part two, we will put on the front arm. In part three, we'll attach the compression spring. And then in part four, we'll put on the rear base plate and the rear arm. Step one, front base plate assembly. So the front base plate simply sits here in between the two front drive wheels. It is, this notch is going to fit over the bolt here in the front, and then you will see that this hole is going to line up with this slot. Once it is in place, take the small bolt that is in the bag labeled step 1B, remove the nut and the washer, and then simply place this bolt straight through that slot so that it comes out the hole in the front of this front base plate. In the second part of step one, we're simply going to place the washer and the nylon lock nut onto this bolt. It may make it a little bit easier if you push the bolt in a bit so that you can slip on the washer. And the same holds true for the bolt or the nut that you'll be putting on here. Pushing this bolt back and then driving it into the nut makes installation a little bit easier. Once you hit the front of the nylon lock nut, it will get much more difficult to turn the, the bolt from the back. So I'd recommend just simply using a pair of pliers to hold the bolt while you turn from the back. This just needs to be snug. You don't have to tighten it too terribly tight. The nylon lock nut will keep this from moving and this nut won't get loose over time. In step two, we are going to install this bolt, washer, and lock nut in the bag labeled step 2A to the front arm. So simply line up these holes to the holes on the side of the base plate and drive this long bolt through the holes. It doesn't really matter which side you put this on, but once you have it installed, then install your washer and install your lock nut. This does not need to be over tightened. Finger tight is fine, but if you want to give it a little bit more of a snug fit, you can tighten it down. This is going to have a four millimeter head and then again, you'd want to use pliers because the nylon is going to make that last little bit tight. You don't want to over tighten this. If you, it would be possible to crack the arms here and all this is doing is acting as a pivot point. So finger tight is absolutely fine. Step three is the installation of the compression spring. I, leave, I tape this up just so that all the washers and springs don't fall off during shipment. So once you've removed the tape, all that you need to do to install the cons compression spring is to lift the front arm. It's easier if this is parallel to the bottom plate. And then push this through down into the threaded insert and then turn. You don't have to screw it all the way down. The farther you screw it, it will add a little more resistance to the front arm, but you can adjust that as it works best for you. Step four is the installation of the rear plate. This will only go in one way as this smaller hole will line up with this rod 
and the larger hole will line up, line up with this bearing. This simply sits right here, push it down, and it should be fairly snug. It won't be immovable, but that's fine because you don't want this to be too tight to where it pinches your glassware in between. The final stage is to put on the rear arm. This just sits on top of the rear base plate and it will slide back and forth. And the bolt in the final bag will go into the threaded insert. This will always just be tightened finger tight so that you have the ability to slide this back and forth. To utilize the system, simply adjust the rear base at the proper distance. Lift up your front roller, place your media in, and then place your rear roller. I always place the rear wheels so that it's going to give me enough distance so that at the max I can push this. You don't want this to be so far forward that you have no room to adjust this. So we'll simply set that and then I will typically push my glassware far enough forward so that it can't move up so it will be resting on the front of the front base plate and then my rear adjusted as such. Move that a little bit closer and then we'll push the rear base plate and then just lock this down finger tight. Now my glassware can't go back and forth and I've got that positive downward pressure to prevent slippage on here. The one thing that you don't want to do is to pinch your glassware in so tight between the rear arm and the front of the plate that you're now causing problems and it can't turn because you have too much friction either on the front or the back. Hopefully you found this installation video useful and I thank you again for purchasing this product and if you have any questions or comments please reach out to me directedtech at gmail.com and you should uh, see the, the E in tech is actually a letter or excuse me a number three so that's T number three CH so directedtech at gmail.com. Thanks again. Bye.